Addressing crime was the focus of a new letter penned by both Minneapolis Mayor and the University of Minnesota's interim president. The letter was just sent out to students and staff at the Twin Cities campus as the weather warms up. Our Eric Shalou is live right now in Dinkytown with more on what was in the letter and Eric, the reaction. Yeah, Lee and Paul, this letter going out just yesterday to the university campus here, as you mentioned, as the weather starts to warm up. Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry, the U's interim president, sending out this letter saying uh, that they are paying attention, calling it a paramount concern of possible criminal behavior as the summer months uh, happened here in Dinky Town and the surrounding neighborhoods. And we spent the afternoon talking to folks around here about their reaction to this letter. More than a month ago, three robberies were reported in 25 hours near Minneapolis's Dinkytown neighborhood. In the shadows of the University of Minnesota campus, just some of the crime experienced in the area. In this new letter, interim university president Jeff Enninger and Mayor Jacob Fry wrote to the university community together about crime, saying in part, we acknowledge there is frustration and a real need for solutions. It goes on to say they've been making improvements, including enhanced lighting, extra patrols and community engagement, adding there are plans in the works to, quote, restore and maintain a sense of safety in the area. Some of the things that they were doing, just having more police presence, having more community presence and stuff, I think is great. But I think it's just kind of a start. And I think Allison Kerwin runs Al's Breakfast on 14th Avenue. She'd support safety officials coming out and having more conversations. People are willing to be involved because it's important to our businesses and to the neighborhood and, you know, to the safety of students and everybody else who thrives there, and so I think that people would be up for that, I think. Back on Sunday, student Luke Whitner, part of the Interfraternity Council, spoke about their survey that found more than half of those who responded didn't feel safe in and around campus, especially at night. Now they don't feel safe when they go out with their friends and they want to relax and have a good time. It's, it's every night that this thing is happening. It's very concerning and frustrating. Yeah, exactly. We spoke Get to Kimmy Galetti, who just graduated from the U. Do you think it's good that the mayor and the university president coming together saying, hey, we need to do something more? Um, I definitely think it's a good thing. I think it depends what way they go with it. Well, the Campus Safety Coalition president uh, told us he applauds the interim president's uh, letter and, and his efforts to address crime, saying it shows he, quote, definitely cares. But as there needs to be more voices at the table when addressing crime around the campus to see where those breakdowns are happening. Of course, continue to follow this for you. We're live this afternoon here in Minneapolis. Eric Shalou, 5